modern, contextual, spiritual, and sculptural. Notre Dame de Rochamp, also known as Rochamp, starts with the commission of Le Corbusier to replace the previous church, which was destroyed during the World War II. Because of the importance of the area to the Catholics, they choose Le Corbusier to design the church and exhibit the new modern perspectives of the Catholic Church. The church reformists wanted to clear their name of decadence and ornamental past by embracing modern art and architecture. Even though formally it looks quite complex, programmatically, with two entrances, an altar and three chapels, it is relatively simple. From the outside, Ronsham embodies the physical attributes of the hill with its curved walls and roof. However, once inside, the light and illumination define the experience of the space and the physical attributes lose their importance. Corbusier used white coarse-grained plaster walls like white canvas to elevate the pristic and meditative features of the building. The thickness of the walls varies between 90 cm up to 2 meters and 72 centimeters, helping to block the sound outside and bringing calmness and peace to inside. The 27 windows on the south facade covered by tinted glass elevate the spiritual atmosphere inside. These sporadically placed windows tapered along the wall cavity, allowing light to amplify when it passes. The light captured from these windows creates tiny reflections on the whitewashed plaster wall like staring night contributing to the atmosphere in the room. Even though Ronchamp is not as mechanistic as the other works of Corbusier, it still reflects some of the same principles of purity, openness, and social sense of coming together. Ronchamp is an example of applying modern architectural elements to the contextual foundation of the given project. And this is why it became most interesting building of the 20th century. And since July 2016, it has also been officially listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So it is definitely worth seeing. Thank you for staying till the end. If you like this kind of short content informational video about architecture and design, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments which building you would like me to cover next time. Have a glorious day. See you in the next video.